This investigation is sponsored by Paradox Interactive. One by one, the highest ideals of the Star Union were abandoned and betrayed. As it spread across the stars, personal freedom gave way to collective security. Economic equality exchanged for corporate domination. When the expeditionary forces of the Union encountered the alien Kirko, any remaining belief in the virtues of friendly cooperation or non-interference held little sway. To the Star Union, the Kirko were an abomination, an endless swarm of toxic insects united under an overwhelming psionic hive mind. Union pioneers landed on their jungle world, only to be eaten or to collapse into insanity within the swarm's psionic fields. The presence of nectar, a priceless neuroactive substance, sealed the Kirko's fate. The Star Union's armies fell upon the planet, with the endless swarms of the Kirko crushed beneath superior technology and strategy. The core of the swarm, the Kirko Hive Queens, were lobotomized by Union bioengineers, robbed of their psionic potential and reduced to mindless breeders. They would produce generations of carefully evolved slave workers and hardened warriors, perfected through rapid evolution by their new oppressors. The hive mind was broken, but traces of its memory remained. Amidst the endless numbers of the swarm, a scattered collection of individuals, perhaps the first of their kind, managed to retain some higher psionic connection. They escaped to the fringes of the Star Union, finding work as spies, mercenaries, and assassins. Whether the void storms that increasingly raged across the unstable outworlds or the Union's own use of hyper-evolution unleashed the Kirko's psionic power remains a mystery. Reports of Kirko slaves exhibiting higher forms of problem-solving, rumors of acts of defiance, all were overshadowed by the Cataclysm. When the Kirko emerged from the ruins of the Star Union, they had been born anew. On countless worlds, the Kirko have revolted against their masters, forming new hives and unleashing new swarms. As their numbers swell, their connection grows, with individual Kirko commanders, known as Swarm Heralds, somehow able to project a suitable replacement for their martyred Hive Queens. This psionic connection manifests itself across all of the Swarm, but whether it is some long-dormant power or a manifested evolutionary response, no evidence remains. Newly hatched Kirko carry with them a memory of the past, dreams of their lost homeworld and a terrible longing for their shattered hive mind. Its power can be felt even outside of their race. Some who have encountered them claim they can speak with the voices of loved ones, and many have willingly embraced the swarm, eager to be added to its chorus. The Kirko are masters of design and creation, but where other races utilize concrete and steel, the Swarm crafts its great works from living biomass. Its enemies are reduced to their organic components, reformed and repurposed into whatever their hive requires. They have come to mimic their enslavers, changing their very genetic code as required, and even harnessing the power of technology to supplement their organic forms. Organized into a strict caste system, the Kirko produce endless variants of workers and soldiers, freed slaves and engineered servants. Yet all are valued equally, for they believe they are empowered together or not at all. Certain life forms provide a unique insight into their psychology. One strain of creature known as the Tormented seem unable to cope with the loss of the hive mind and now project their hatred and suffering as powerful blasts of psionic energy. Another creature, known as the Transcendent, seems to suffer the wounds inflicted on its brethren, absorbing pain and redirecting it against its foes. It is the Kirko lifeform known only as the Deep One that might hold the greatest secrets, however. It is an immense leviathan that resides beneath the seas, 
engineered into existence from some deep and profound memory of the hive mind, an ancient reflection brought back into the galaxy. If the hive mind of the Kirko is slowly reforming across the ruined worlds of the Star Union, then it may be only a matter of time before their race is once more united. For now, however, the swarm is fractured. Some within believe that only the blood of the subjugators is the antidote to the poison of servitude, while others proclaim that retribution will only bring about another cycle of despair. What drives them all, however, is the belief that their beloved, their queen of queens, still lives. It calls to them from the depths, demanding to be found. In the centuries since their liberation, the swarm has evolved from dreamers and artists to relentless engineered warriors. If this queen exists, will it recognize her own children? Thanks to Paradox Interactive for sponsoring this investigation into the hives of the Kirko. Age of Wonders Planetfall is the latest turn-based strategy game in the critically acclaimed Age of Wonders series. If you're planning to buy Age of Wonders Planetfall so you can lead your people out of the cosmic dark age that has fallen across the galaxy, use our affiliate link in the description.